Hello. This is my outfit of the day. And my friend Nara gave it to me. This dress. And I'm kind of in love with it. It has a cute little belt. It's a torrid dress. It's ankle length. So we are here at my tiny, tiny little cabin room. I'm just showing it to you. This will take seconds. And then, whew, look at all that mess. Oh, oh, I've made my mark. This bed is entirely too squishy. But you know what? I don't care. It's just about 11 o'clock at night. I got here way later than I expected, but you know, Nara and I, we've been friends for next year will make 20 years. That kind of friendship deserves a couple days to catch up and just freaking sip wine together and laugh and we had a drink called Pucker Up Buttercup because it had so many puckers. We just, basically we took all the alcohol in her house and added it together and made a thing with some ice, but it was tasty, so. My charger, my laptop charger at Nars house, so that sucks. So she is, let's see, it was three, about well, three and a half hours south of my mom's and right now I'm an hour north of her <sighs> anyway tomorrow I'm gonna get up early I'm going to probably put some type of order into the chaos that I've made in this little room and I'm gonna take you guys around and if there's anybody here I know because I may know some people I'll introduce them to you if they want to be introduced, and yeah. So here we are, West Virginia Writers Conference 2016. It is 8.30, day one, or day my first day of the conference, but the actual second day of the conference, and already we've had a, a room snafu. While I was getting dressed, this gentleman came in because he had a key. I came last night, it was 10.03, and at 10 o'clock, they close the, um, the main office. However, of course, there were still people there, and the girl that was working said that I could have this room, gave me the key, but she didn't block it off in their system. So, this other gentleman came in this morning and was given that room. Fortunately, I had my clothes on. I was just trying to decide whether I was going to wear this skirt. pair of uh, yoga pants and I guess he helped me to make my decision because I was like holy crap I gotta put some clothes on get the hell out of here figure out what's going on all right so now I'm gonna go to the assembly
good experience. And I want to tell you why. Of course, I had a lot of fun talking to new people, seeing people I hadn't seen in years, um, meeting people face to face that I've only talked to on Facebook, and meeting people who are totally new. That's always such a huge part of going to conferences like this. Another point of interest is being able to share ideas, some of them old, some of them new, talking about experiences. I know the buzzword is networking. I think that, I think that networking feels really cold. I think that really it's just about establishing friendships, relationships, talking to folks like they're people, you know? my experience I didn't get to do everything I wanted to uh, last night there was a bonfire there was music and things and I didn't do any of that I was just too tired I so I had driven to Pittsburgh and then I drove down to Huntington and then from Huntington to here I'm, I'm not used to having a six or seven hour travel driving thing that's that's not part of my life anymore and I'd forgotten that so it ended up making me much more tired than I thought it would which sucked but I tried to make the best out of what I could do and who I did meet and I tried to make lasting impressions with people and I tried to make lasting like beginnings of important relationships for instance i'm hoping that this year with west virginia writers i'll help more with their social media and trying to reach out to younger people which i am not a young person so i think that i'll be taking more point of trying to get the older people more invested in social media and to make it not a scary thing. And for them to realize that it could be a viable, important part of their author platform and of their branding, you know, words that the old folks will <laughs> get behind. It's so beautiful here and it's so peaceful. And you just wanna sit and write. And if not write, then think. I haven't put as many words to paper as I thought I would. But I've thought out so many things and I've explored areas of blood roses and honeysuckles that I hadn't thought that I would. So that made this all the that made this all to the good, you know? And I'm sitting outside and I'm not being attacked by cicadas, so I'm all for that. <laughs> I want to come back next year. I'm going to propose a seminar that I'd like to do, a workshop. I think that would be great, regardless of where I end up. You know, because it might be next year or the following year where we leave Hawaii. I'm not sure. You know, those, those are things that haven't been decided yet. But wherever I'll end up, West Virginia is always going to be my heart. And public perception of West Virginia has this is barefoot and pregnant and stupid and extremely racist. And you know, there are people who are like that, but there are plenty of people who aren't. And I'm representing the people who aren't. And I think the people who come to West Virginia Writers Conference are representing the people who are interested in telling stories and being part of a bigger world than just their own, you know? One of the coolest things about going to a writer's conference, and one that feels as laid back as this one, is that you don't feel as though you're an other or you're weird. Maybe this is the first time you've been there, maybe you don't know anybody, but folks are so welcoming and warm that you don't feel like a total reject. There's gonna be people who wanna talk to you. There's going to be someone who smiles at you and says hi. And I think that's important, even if you're an introvert and you don't want to necessarily put yourself all the way out there. There's folks who will meet you halfway. 
So I'm going to wrap up this video. I hope that you enjoyed this little peek into my Writers Conference weekend. I had an excellent time. I'm going to leave links in the description so that you can go to West Virginia Writers uh, website and the Facebook and check it out. Um, I didn't take as a lot of footage and I, you know, I didn't take a lot of like footage of people and stuff like that because I'm still getting used to this whole vlogging thing and I'm so used to not having other people in it.